Hey guys, I'm Abhi and in this video we're going to talk about 5 react projects that you can finish over a weekend. So let's get started. All right, so the first project is going to be simple. It's going to be a free landing page of, a, of any product in the world, right? If you don't know what a landing page is, it is basically a product page similar to what you can find on Apple's website for the iPhone, right? There'll be an iPhone landing page, which will have images and which will have features and a lot of text and, you know, fancy animations and stuff like that. And it can be another, it doesn't have to be a hardware product, right? Software products also have landing pages. For example, if you go to calendly.com, you can just see that, you know, it's a landing page which which describes okay which has some imagery which has some very nice imagery and text it's a combination of images text maybe slight animations and transitions just to make it look more beautiful and it's just it's it has to be a responsive web page right it has to look good both on big screens like laptops and desktops and it has to be fully responsive and look good on small screens like your mobile phones and stuff right this will teach you the basics of you know html css and you know teach you the concepts of responsive web design and that's a good way to get started even i the first in fact the first kind of websites that i built were landing pages when i was learning web development and i just was i just got an internship for web development i was building landing pages using html and css but now that react is so widely used and accepted i think it's the best way to get started is to use react maybe something like gatsby js so i believe gatsby js is one of the best tools in the market today to build landing pages so yeah you can pick that up and start building a few landing pages just because just to get practice with you know just building react apps and writing web components so yeah that's the first project all right so the second project would be a fully functional e-commerce app right think about amazon or flipkart you know you can build an e-commerce app like that which shows a list of all products maybe in a grid right you see an infinite grid of products which will load you know images and maybe the title of the product and then you click on a product it should go to the product detail page which will have all the details like you know the description of the product and the features and maybe the prices and shipping and all that kind of stuff you can also add a payment button there maybe integrate with the payment gateway like you know there's plenty of things that you can do with an e-commerce application and there's a lot to learn there as a front-end guy you think i think you can use something like react and redux to manage all the state and you know you can build a more sophisticated front-end application and in this process you learn a lot about front-end web development so an e-commerce project is a must-have in every front-end developers portfolio so yeah that's the second project all right so the third project can be a really interesting one where you can pick your favorite social network like facebook or twitter or instagram and you can build their web app you know you can clone it you can clone it as close as you can to the actual web app and you can use things like react and redux and maybe if you want some real data coming in there are plenty of apis available that will serve you uh, real data i mean it will be fake data but it will look like real data and you can use it to build your uh, you know feeds and stuff like that you can also use firebase to actually store data if you want to but uh, a front end of a front end of a twitter or an instagram kind of thing should be good enough and you learn a lot of things how these things are built how infinite lists are built you know so if you think about the performance aspects of building you know an infinite scrollable list like on instagram so you can keep scrolling and there can be hundreds and thousands of posts that you go through and you keep scrolling right what happens to the posts that were up there or what happens to the posts that are not yet downloaded it will slow down at some point right so you have to smartly you know unmount the components which are off the screen and you know keep a buffer so the design of an infinite scrollable list is very interesting problem uh, like as a front-end developer there's a lot to learn there i think you'll have a great time trying to implement it and you learn a lot of things so yes a social media feed would be a great place to start you can build a facebook or instagram clone that's going to be perfect and it's going to be a nice project that you can show off in your front-end developer portfolio all right number four is going to be a chat app clone right similar to slack or microsoft teams you can build a web app which has you know chats one-on-one -on -one chats maybe group chats and you, you can you can implement a real chat first of all you can build the front end for it and if you want to build actual chat functionality you can use something like firebase or you can also directly use web sockets and you know have a web socket connection and let them chat to each other and i think it's a great way to learn more about how chats and real time uh, you know uh, applications work that's a widely use use case and it will be another tool in your belt as a front-end developer to have worked on a chat app and i think it's a great add to your portfolio as well so definitely build a chat app like slack you can basically clone slack 
using react or something right i think it's a great project to do all right finally you can make a react movie app right similar to imdb or netflix where you, you just display the details of the movies basically make a very fancy nice looking layout where there are covers of every movie and you can get this data from imdb api there are plenty of apis open source apis available that you can use to you know get these movies data you can load the covers of the movies and you can maybe you know we show the details show the ratings and have some mechanism to actually let the users rate the movie right so you click on a movie you transition into a movie detail page and then in that page you can have options like you know the ratings and reviews and comments and of have the option to go ahead and you know give it a four star rating or whatever right so i think it's a great add to your portfolio to build like a movie app like a showcase uh, for movies on and it it's just it doesn't apply to just movies right if you if you look at it from the technical aspect once you learn it you can you can apply this to e-commerce or you can apply this to movies or sports people and you can apply this to pokemon cards if you want right the opportunities are endless but i think this is a much this is a very widely used use case again and you'll have a lot of fun building it uh, so definitely build a movie app using react i think that's a great project to get started with so with these five projects i think you have a solid portfolio that you can show off and you can apply for a lot of front end positions which will be very happy to see your projects and they're going to you're probably going to get the position very easily right so definitely shows a lot about your time and effort spent right so the companies want to see that you have actually spent the time and effort to learn something and to build something and they really appreciate it uh, so have a nice portfolio if you are applying for a front end developer position and other than that if you're just trying to learn it's a great way to learn right i don't think that you can learn that much by just reading articles or watching blogs but you learn the most by actually doing projects and building these projects and i think that's the way to go if you want to become a software engineer so yeah with that said that's it for this video i hope you like this one thank you for watching